Tiki ya uinjilishaji. Sainthood, the life and times of the servant Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga with a Shalom, dear brothers and sisters of our. You are, I greet you all wherever you are for choosing Capuchin Television Network, your number one rooted in evangelization through broadcasting. And it is in this evangelization that we are bringing you journey to St. Times of the Servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Otunga coming to you live from the Memorial Chapel then in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, Kenya's country. And today I am joined by the creator of the process of beatification, that is the Archdiocese. I just wish to allow her to introduce how we engage in a short conversation about the servant of God introduce yourself to our viewer. Thank you, Elizabeth. I am Sister Esther, as she has said. Sister Esther. I come from the Diocese of Nyahururu, of the Congregation of the Demese Sisters, mm -hmm. Daughters of here in Nairobi. And uh, I don't think more than that. <laughs> of course, we'll Continue with the discussion. We give you an opportunity to share with us your questions. Telephone number 0717425. Or you can alternatively drop your questions on 0714031. All our plans are open for your comments on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube. I will be guiding you through this discussion. So welcome. So sister, we understand that you are the administrator of the Office of Beatification, that is the Department of Causes of Sainthood, that's the Office of Beatification or the Causes of Sainthood. Thank you, Elizabeth. Our office, in today's terms, we call it the Department of saints, mm -hmm. that is the Archidiocesan Office. Mm -hmm. This office started in 2009, and the main mandate mm -hmm. is to steer ahead to for us and to serve mm -hmm. all matters related of beatification and of a candidate, and in this case, Morris Michael Cardinal Tunga. Mm -hmm. So that is the postulation office, as we call it, okay. of the causes of saints. Thank you very much, Sister. Saints are constituted within that office. First and foremost, about to the petitioner, in this case, ordinary of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, His Grace, Philip Anyoro, because the cause of the servant of God, Mori, belongs to the Archdiocese of Nairobi, and the petition, uh, the, the petitioner is the one who uh, raised the issue for becoming a saint, mm -hmm. according to the reputation that. 
So we all, all of us are answering hard with the petitioner. Mm -hmm. That is the first step. The posturation office, and the posturation office are, ensures the office is running. Then we have the Roman posturator is following the process in the Roman phase. Vice posturator who should be linking and the Roman posturator with the and with the petitioner. That is the work of uh, they work closely together with the everything that they have to exchange has to be the archdiocese of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the, the other is uh, the administrator in the posturation office mm -hmm. who runs day to day all matters related to the safeguarding the funds, the materials related to the servant of God, collect from the people, people who report to us about received. That is the work of the administrator on day to day. This is on Cardinal Tunga Plaza on 8th. We are located at Cardinal Tunga Plaza. Oh, right. Then the second team was, uh, has stopped working until now when we are pleased is the tribunal. The interrogate the witnesses. We finished the dousation. Now they, they stopped at that. Until we have a miracle, the tribunal will come in again the witnesses. All oh, right, so their, their role is a uh it's their role is seasonal okay. when there is a case to be raised, qualifications to be made. Mm -hmm. Then the other team is the third a member here of the central committee actors on the back at the background related to creating awareness in to uh, fundraising to linking with other bodies or other stakeholders communication because there are some divided into the, the first subcommittee is the finance the finance we have planned for the budget for the fundraisers and we have planned for the promotion for visit to correct the funds to manage then we have the subcommittee of Lyso. Subcommittee helps the process or the postulation office in creating awareness and linking with, for example, the KCCB, MSA, institution, SK, RSK, men. So all those things rise on. Of Lison. So you have representatives from all these organizations of the religious? Mm, yes, when we need them, the Rison Central Committee has to link us with those groups. The third subcommittee or the sub uh, group called the Communication Subcommittee. The work of the Communication Subcommittee is to help us link with all means. Secular religious media and institutions mm -hmm. in creating awareness, in creating awareness. So that is the work of the subcommittee. Of we have to link us with all the medias who about this process. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sister. And what about these other? The, we have the committee uh, under all these other mentioned the support group in normal it's like a, a board of management because board of management work with the administration the central committee members the occasional meetings to deal with all these issues 
way as far as the process is concerned and the funding, awareness process, all those factors. The with the postulation office together with the petition. What briefly is your role as the administrator? As the administration, my main role is every day of the postulation office that the funds that are donated or is the funds through other means, the funds are used both here locally and in Rome. Because there are the expenses that happen in the Roman that there is flow of money and the money is utilized in the best way possible. In the office, all matters related to the meeting. I'm the central committee. There are meetings to arrange awareness creation, which I have to that flow together with the central committee and also postulator. In case the vice postulator needs something and then we do together. So there is that team working. It's running the office holistically. For yeah. that uh, sister now, uh, this from the general overview of the beatification office, I'll focus at your personal level or maybe as the sisters, did you have a close interaction and if so, what would you say about his persona? The servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga, was fond of the very much. When we started our African form, he was very, very much in it. And he used to visit occasionally. And even during our celebration, he was there. Personally, I, when I was still a novice, to work then, and uh, in those days we were so I was privileged for two years to work in the office to help in the starting over of the then. When was that? That was way back in 1993. Worked here in the resurrection garden and used to come every Sunday to meet with the servant of God who's Father Santoro. Mm -hmm. So then, of course, apart from that, was my first profession. Mm -hmm. So I feel that he was part and parcel of my formation and initial stage of my religion. Uh, the servant of God, when I saw him, because he interacted more with our superiors than us. This man who was soft spoken to us, somebody who never raised voices, was you could see the humbleness, the humility. He talked, he was so in a hurry. And uh, you can say, you, you could say he was there and I am here. He's a person because he's concerned, he's patient, he's there with you, like we are, one on one, but you feel the presence of him being there. I really admired the kind of the person, the servant. Tunga. And whenever he was in our compound, we felt their serenity because he is a peaceful. So uh, that is what I would say of the servant of God. Then the bureaucracies, the protocols, no. They are for you. Was he though so approachable? If you needed to talk, he didn't have bowed or that mm -hmm. he was very approachable mm -hmm. he reasoning here so that is the persona of the servant mm -hmm. he was a walking humility indeed a working many people say or speak of him as a, a 
exemplified humility in our community. So are there specific and uh, continue to uphold about Actually, being in this office and a favor. Mm -hmm. And I don't take it for granted. Mm -hmm. Many times I have also to pray through and uh, through the prayer that we use the, for the process of beatification. Mm -hmm. And I pray spirit, his virtues and especially I try to become patient. Patient Cardinal Tunga was very patient with people on his way. Mm -hmm. He was very, very patient. I have not reached that point, but I always to become like him in patience. Mm -hmm. However, the situation is, I try as much as possible to become patient. Then, of course, to try simple in my way of operations. Thank you, sister. Because uh, of our time, uh, please, in a, in a brief way, the, the progress in the cause of the of God and how the process is sustained, are sustained. You know that the process, it requires, as I've said, a lot of patience. The process is still on. The fact that it is does not mean that the process is, it is hard. We have to wait for Rome, the Vatican, the process of saints to finish its work. Their work, and we have to be patient. So, the servant of God remains a servant of God. Very soon, very soon, soon, my soon can be tomorrow, mm -hmm. next year, mm -hmm. or even towards the end of this year. Mm -hmm. Because the biography was written, written by the postulator in Rome. Mm -hmm. He was to have the whole document, or the complete document, mm -hmm of the causes of saints for evaluation and scrutiny. Pass a vote. After passing a vote of heroic virtues. Free mm -hmm. of heroic virtues, then the servant of venerable, which is the second stage. Very soon will happen. Then after that, we'll have now to start Miracles. We are still appealing to all the Christians to play. We get more miracles. So when they finish that, we up the tribunal and we start investigating the miracles. Mm -hmm. It will also happen very soon. Mm -hmm. Let us pray that uh, we get this decree declared venerable. So we will of God, but we'll call him venerable. Venerable. Now, how can they take part in this process? How can they participate or support? Actually, each and every Christian, Christians in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, they must take this on. We have to own the process. And our responsibility is threefold. As Christians, we have to support the process. That is, talking well of the process, sure that the process is ongoing, of the servant of God, practicing the virtues and emulation of God, which are many. Each Christian can take and in that way, we are carrying forward the reputation. That is morally. Talking well of the process, supporting as much as possible where we can. 
second part that we have to do is to support. We have these uh, these prayer cards. This is not uh, really a prayer card as we have always had. This is a flyer. We have last year from last year we have been doing uh, uh, flyers and posters to help in creating awareness that we need to pray and we need also to have miracles for the process. And the miracles, when you have prayed, you have asked as intervention or intercession of God. So when you get that miracle, you are supposed to because it is our responsibility to record all the miracles and graces then the other part from the prayers, the other part, financial support. The process is it doesn't belong to Rome, it belongs to the Archdiocese of Nairobi. So it is the duty of each and every Christian in this broader to support the process financial expenses incurred in the Vatican or in the Roman vase, it is hard for by the archdiocese of Nairobi. And from money, it requires funding. So it is for the Christian to support the process donations. And so far we can see from last year when we started producing the and the posters, Christians are coming in with this Donations they are sending through via the pay bill in our account. So please, we are appealing for all the what is the process morally, spiritually, financially. That is our responsibilities, and we are it is our process, and we are proud of this. We are so. The, how can one? Uh, uh, how best can anyone from even the remotest part of intercessory prayers to the servant of God? Can we have been having a program since we started. We have been, and even we started producing prayer cards of different. And we take as far as where those, uh, for example, we have taken prayer cards of Luya. Kakamega. Then Kisumu, we took the Doruo, the Gusi language, to Kikuyu, and then those who wish to use the English and the are there. We are going to reprint more, but we to print the flyers. So that's what we are having in. Now, how do we uh, dispatch this? We use the Christians during the, especially in August, we make sure that we have enough prayer during that day. Mm -hmm. And any other occasions of the Akidah, we use the priest, they carry them with them to the places. International, uh, nationally, we use mass during the international national mass of. We give so many of them during that. In any other occasion of each group, for example, associate uh, these groups of the church, we use them. Direction garden where we are. If you go outside there, you find prayer cards, and we many times we distribute. Who is the rector of there? This place. Garden throughout, we have the prayer cards in schools. We, we do distribute, and again, in town, they are. If you need a prayer card, Kadrek Bookshop in Nairobi, in the city center, panels that we use to distribute these cards. And if somebody still need, even in our office. We have agents of distributing this. At the Demesa system, 
of that also? Yes, yes we have soft copies. Here, even at St. Mary Magdalene, we keep there. Then we keep there another congregation they carry. So, much, sister, you have uh, the, <laughs> the for share about uh, the servant of God and the process for updating us that uh, uh, the staunch Catholics and are aching to understand and follow close TV. We continue to bring you this conversation as 20 years since the servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga left great gift to us. And if you have one step after the other, so after being the servant, directing our efforts towards ensuring that he is able, and you and I can make a difference as sister through your moral support, through your prayer, and this process as we give time to the diocese the causes of saints in Rome, it could happen tomorrow, next even next year, and it all narrows down and faith and support. So at this point, following, and we'll respond to your questions. House, remember this will be coming to you every week. As we close, I wish to request sister that we face this of. Uh, uh, the servant of God, Maurice Michael, as we say, the intercessory prayer to get and to sainthood in the name of the Father, Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you Maurice Michael, Cardinal Otunga, an exemplary pastor at the service of making him a symbol of humility and love and the less fortunate in the society while denying himself from the pleasures of the world that we may also learn to respond to the demands of the Christian vocation and circumstances of our life into our loving and, you and our neighbors with joy and of serving the kingdom of God with humility. We request you to grant your son Otunga a share in the glory of God, which is promised to those who have served you well. Bless the church, our, our families and children, and grant we humbly request, and especially. Lord, Amen. Our Father, who art, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the bread and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us and temptations, but deliver us from evil. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. You are among women, and blessed is the fruit of Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Now and at the hour of our death, Amen. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, without end, Amen. Servant of God, Notunga, intercede for us. watching Capuchin TV, we take place of God's abundant blessings and testimony especially Catholic Identity Channel. Capuchin Tumetoa kambali 
Bado tuko ba. Bye. Endelea kutazama